Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. I heard they had a colony on the Midrim, almost halfway between Onderon and Dantooine. Then, it wasn't there anymore. The whole planet was wiped out. Nothing left alive. No one knows why. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Why did you decide to fight? I felt the same way. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me. Turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing a lens. My life for yours. I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. I... I have not heard that question in some time. My flesh is healed if that's the answer you seek. I know, and I fear that others will see the mercy in your actions, and in my survival, and use it as a weapon to do you greater harm. I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force, but was unaware of its nature, of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know. And that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space. And even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master, I cannot permit you to find him until you are ready. If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me, and I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. I cannot. I will not. I would die first and gladly to preserve you untouched, unharmed. Now that I have found you, I cannot sacrifice what I have found. You will meet my master. It is inevitable. I have seen it. And when you stand before him and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready.
there's a, a greatness in you. A greatness that does not stem from the Force. It stems from who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive, then you must understand why this is so. There is much I see my master cannot. I fear it is because of my nature, the nature of my race. My people spend their lives seeing the galaxy, the energy streaming off stars, the growth of life, all things touched by the Force. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. The planet was not destroyed. It remains. It orbits. Dead in space. But nothing lives on its surface. It echoes. But there's no one left to hear it. I am not certain I did. I was there when the planet died. To see everything around you extinguished. It was as if I was blinded. It was as if the Force had been bled from the world. I imagine there are worse deaths, worse pain. But if there are, I do not know them. I was the only living thing remaining on the planet of Qatar. And my life, my agony, was a flicker in the darkness that was the planet. All that I had been connected to had been severed. Yes, but it was not survival. I still wonder what would have happened if I had died with the others. If perhaps there would have been some way to hide my presence from the galaxy. If only I had not felt that pain, that loss, as strongly as I did. But it could not be done. When the life was bled from the planet, and yet somehow I remained, my master came for me. He walked upon the surface of my dead world, and there, lying in the bodies of my race, he took me for his own, and he made me see. And for the first time, I saw the galaxy. And I wished to die. To this galaxy, my world, absent the currents and spectrums of the Force, was nothing but crude matter, rock, flesh, emptiness. He showed the flickering of life on other planets. The mass of beings that swarm through the empty places of the galaxy. To see such creatures, disconnected from themselves, their world, their place in it, unable to see the currents and how they affected everything around them. He showed me to make me believe in his cause. He convinced me the galaxy, all life, must die. He fed upon its ugliness, its screaming, and in its place, he left silence. And where there was chaos, he brought stillness and order. The Jedi, the last council of the Jedi, came to our world to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died, and the Jedi died, and there was no one left. 
only me. He cannot deny his hunger for long, and any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life, merely with his presence. I do not understand what you mean. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them, and they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask. Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? You must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. So you say. But it is not something I have observed or seen. I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself.